I want to get into the Emmanuel Sanders news in lieu of a quick question because right. yesterday I uh, got the sleeper alert. You know, and, uh, and it was not good news. It was Emmanuel Sanders going down in practice. It said it didn't look good. Then Denver said they feared a torn Achilles, and then it was confirmed. Torn Achilles tendon for wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders of the Denver Broncos. He is now placed on IR. His season is over. Uh, it's going to be a long road back. We wish him the very best. It is a very difficult injury to suffer. It's also very difficult when you look at Denver might have moved on from him regardless in this offseason. Yeah, and just to piggyback on that, next year Emmanuel Sanders would make $10.2 oh. million. He oh. would make that, but they can cut him for a $2.6 million dead cap hit. And I... It's a tough business. It would not shock me at all to see that happen. With this timeline of his injury. I mean, look at Deontay Foreman. I mean, he's back, I guess, Deontay Foreman running back for the Texans. But he's a young man. and About the same time last year. Yeah. yeah I was Emmanuel Sanders is about 10 years older. Yeah, the, the timeline for recovery says he's not ready for the start of the season at right. all. So how you could keep him around. I mean, it, he probably won't play next it, year. Yeah. He, he, I mean, that's the truth. He's probably cut and maybe he'll sign – for a playoff contender to lead yeah, in. I mean, who but knows? That's, that's a lot harder, too, than even coming back on a roster where you know the playbook. And right. it's coming back shame. late next year on another team. I mean, he was on pace for 1,157 yards, the second most of his career. He's having an excellent season. The Denver Broncos are on a hot winning streak. Hot they're, streak! They're the, the, <laughs> they're the new you know Cinderella for the playoffs. And then in practice on a Wednesday, you lose... Your, your second best, best yeah, your offensive best weapon. And, and you don't expect it, and you didn't expect it when Demarius Thomas was traded to be right. both in the hunt, which they are. I mean, I I said it earlier this week. I thought they were going to make the playoffs because of their schedule compared to Baltimore's. I thought that Denver might sneak in, but now you have to lean on Cortland Sutton, Deshaun Hamilton. Tim Patrick is, Andre Holmes was signed. Is I mean, the it's third a, man, but yeah. but Deshaun Hamilton. Just speaking for fantasy fallout, Deshaun Hamilton is the player to add. I, I mean, I don't know if he's going to do anything this year, but Hamilton is was drafted to be the replacement for Emmanuel Sanders. Eventually, that time came sooner than they were expecting. But Hamilton is a very polished wide receiver. He's his routes are incredible. Matt Harmon. Uh, Polished like a gem. Yeah, a gem. gem. A gem. Like a gem that's been working out at the gym. Uh, Matt Harmon, who does reception perception for the ultimate draft kit. Hamilton was one of his shining stars, one of those middle round guys that could turn into something. So I'm I'm excited to see what Hamilton can do now that the opportunity is is fully his. Okay. Yeah, he is. I mean, the thing is, is you, we say, oh, he's probably not going to do anything. Someone has to. There's just no... This is an NFL team that has lost, you know, over a quarter of its yeah, Sutton's, targets. Sutton's volume is going to go Someone's up. Someone's going to replace some of the volume. Deshaun has to chime in there. What, what's crazy, if you look at his snap percentages, you know, most of the year he's been under 25% snaps. Two weeks ago got up to 50% last week. Emmanuel Sanders, obviously not injured yet, was up to 79%. So Deshaun Hamilton was getting more trust. It, it didn't turn yep. into anything yet, but at least the coaching staff was saying, he should be on the field. Now he has to be. For fantasy owners that are concerned with this season specifically, Cortland Sutton is the uh, the beneficiary when it comes to target consistency. Yeah, agreed. Reception consistency. He'd been kind of a three-catch guy. I put him more in the four-five catch baseline, which for a guy with his size, red zone prowess, uh, big playability, that really raises his – uh, you know, flex worthy type of consideration to me. I would be agreed. I'd feel very confident starting him. Um, I don't, I, you know, Philip Lindsay is going to get a ton of work in this offense. Case Keenum is not the engine that's moving this offense. It's the defense plus the running game right now. Oh, Hey, <laughs> I was just doing some heavy research. It's the research that makes the fantasy footballers great. Click that subscribe button and find out more.